Should you be in the housing market during the current coronavirus pandemic? That's the topic of my next video. Should you be buying a house during the coronavirus pandemic? That's the topic of today's video. Can you save money? Is it safe? We'll talk about those important points. Number one, Lawrence Young, who is the National Association of Realtors chief economist, wrote an article on March 9th. The coronavirus is leading fewer home buyers searching in the marketplace, as well as listings being delayed. So you have the buyer pool and the seller pool both being affected by this, which is being affected more. Well, we're not 100 percent sure. It's market by market. Understand that these things change every day as the news media feeds us more information. Things can get better. Things can get worse in the actual housing market. So what should you do? Well, if you decide to stay in the market, because he also claims, and we also know, unless you're new to the housing market, that interest rates are at an all time low. I'm going to include a link to a video that I have about what's going on with the interest rates right now. Some mortgage bankers and economists believe that we haven't seen the bottom yet, that they're going to get any lower. So will that enticement of lower, very low interest rates keep you in this market, you know, versing the health concerns that are out there? Um, that's your decision totally. So if you decide to stay in the market rather than waiting, there are certain things that you need to consider. One, if you're deciding to stay in, the CDC has guidelines. There is a link in the bottom of this or in the description that I'm going to give you. Follow those, follow those guidelines. They're very similar to anything else you might do. And I'm going to give you two important tips to help you with real estate specifically. One is do most of your shopping online. Make your decisions online. Look at the photos. Look at the videos. If it's a upscale listing, it probably has some drone shots as well. Uh, go on Google Earth. Check out the neighborhood from Google Earth or do a drive-by. And then if you decide it's something worth looking at, ask your realtor for a private showing of the property. Any, multi any realtor who's a member of the multiple listing service should be able to get into that property if it's still available. You want to socially isolate, as the CDC says, keep yourself um, as far apart from other people as possible. Number two, if you show up to an open house and you notice it's crowded, the same thing I just mentioned a moment ago, call up your broker, ask for a private showing, or call the broker that's at the open house and say, listen, your open house ends at 2.30. Can I come at 2.45 when nobody else is there and get a private showing of the property? They should have no problem with that. I know I would have no problem with that. I would encourage it. So those two important tips plus the CDC guidelines are the things that you should follow. Can you save money? We don't really know. It's a supply and demand thing, and we don't know which way that's going to go. I hope these tips were helpful. Please definitely give me a thumbs up if you found them helpful. Subscribe and share the channel with anybody else you think might find this information helpful. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and thanks for watching.